What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Wave 1 Super Villain Zem New Build-A-Figure Waves Lady Deathstrike. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at- Such your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. And we have a new segment here called Why Give a Shark. So why do I give a shark about Lady Deathstrike? I've always liked Lady Deathstrike. And she has a place in two different parts of the collection. You can put her with your Reavers. You can put her up fighting against Wolverine. But I've always liked the character. I think she's one of the more popular Wolverine villains out there. Plus, she's one of those Toy Biz figures that really needed an upgrade. And now we finally have it. Ah, yes, finally. Finally, a new Lady Deathstrike. Anyway, on the side, nice image of Lady Deathstrike over there. On the back, you can see that full image. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then we have Lady Deathstrike over here. Not much more on the top or the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's Lady Deathstrike out of the packaging. I will talk about the things that I like and the things that I dislike. But first, let's get a closer look at the figure. We don't have any accessories, just the Build-A-Figure piece. So yeah, let's get a closer look. <laughs> So what do you get when you mix adamantium and daddy issues? You get yourself a Lady Deathstrike. Now, I do remember Lady Deathstrike from the X films, and man, yeah, they kill you right on. But anyway, this character right here from the comics, uh, she's got the daddy issues. Her dad's very evil. Her brothers passed away because of him. Uh, she had a love interest that committed suicide due to the death of her father. So all the male roles in her life have died, and she actually wanted to collect the adamantium bones of Wolverine because her father created the process of lacing bones with adamantium and that's really what you know kickstarted her as being a main villain i think is after the daredevil and bullseye stuff and she had done a similar thing with bullseye trying to track down bullseye with his adamantium bones but yeah uh, later on she ended up getting uh, her cybernetic abilities through spiral and yeah more reavers would be dope but i love this head sculpt i think it looks great much better than the toy biz version right over here so yeah very much improved i do like this a lot and i like how the rest of the figure looks too aesthetics wise i'm very very happy right here uh they even got the cleavage along with the cybernetic parts on the cleavage too and it looks really good i'm not trying to be super pervy here because there's really not a lot there i mean if i wanted to be super pervy i would look at this one a lot longer but this looks neat how you have that detail sculpt along with that detailed silver it's just very accurately applied right there on the chest and it looks fantastic i like how this drapes downward instead of it kind of coming out like a cone right here on the older one this is a lot better and easier to work with. The arms aren't exaggerated and super long, you know, like the Toy Biz version, but I love all the sculpted cybernetic parts right over here. The paint application is missing in some little bits, but for the most part, it does look very clean, and I can't really complain too much about it. Only tiny little parts. Kind of wish, you know... I, I understand, you know, the regulations and all that stuff. These can't be longer and pointier, but, you know, I don't know. Hopefully, you know, somebody comes up with something where you could swap out those hands right over there. But I like all the wrinkles. Not a lot of paint on the figure. You know, I wish we had a little bit of paint. But honestly, that's one of my very few gripes with this piece. I really do like the sculpt. Looks good all the way through. The pinless joints, by the way, looking really good right here. So, yeah, man, I'm very pleased with the aesthetics of this figure. Just wish there was a little bit more paint, but for real as it is it still looks really cool so i have one gripe with the articulation and it's not with the head because the head does have a neck hinge and she can look up very far which is great for jumping poses and everything you could move the head all the way downward it does shift and forward and back like a pile driver so a lot of movement there you can turn side to side and good head pivoting too i love that you can see head pivoting like that with a disc hinge ball joint right anyway the shoulders do move up and out very far so that is awesome and then they do move inward all the way too. You could rotate forward into full 360, but it's going to run into this whole vest piece, which is just due to the nature of the design of the figure. So you can do that, but it's going to be annoying. Uh, it does get in the way too when you try to get her arms facing forward. She doesn't have butterfly joints or a way to cut in there. So if you want her arms bending in, it's not really going to work too easily for you. Uh, you do get a bicep swivel here, which I very much
much appreciate. And you get a single jointed pinless elbow right there, which yeah, it hits the 90 degree mark. Wish I could go in more than that. But the fact that you have all this fabric right here, I'm a little bit more forgiving at this moment with this particular character. You get rotation right there on the wrist. On the left side, you get side to side rotation and a horizontal hinge. This one goes up and down, but only on this side, you get the horizontal hinge. Uh, that bothers me. Why? Why? We just need an up and down hinge on both sides, right? Anyway, you get a waist rotation right here. Uh, you do get good waist pivoting, so that's pretty cool. And she does crunch forward that much. It's a dumbbell joint right here at the waist, and she does crunch back that much, so not looking too bad. I do like this. No ab crunch, but the waist joint right there is pretty good. So you can move the legs outward that far. She'll kick forward, back a tiny bit, not much at all. Upper thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees, ankles down up and beautiful angle pivot. I wish the angles could move up a little bit more than that. It would make it a little easier for her to stand. Now to measure out this lady death strike figure, which is not really that tall, you could see that she is standing a little over the six inch mark. Then for a size comparison, we have lady death strike here next to her nemesis. We have Wolverine from the apocalypse build a figure wave. And I love the concept here of her having the adamantium nails and everything compared to him with the claws and stuff. I just always thought that was really cool. And then here's lady death strike next to my other cyborgs or our other reavers. We have Reaver we have Donald Pierce and then we have Skullbuster. I would love a Bonebreaker. That's the one I want the most from the team, but yeah, a Pretty Boy and Bonebreaker. And then for your Lady Deathstrike figure comparison, we have our Hasbro version next to the Toy Biz version. And yes, this Hasbro version, I do feel like is a little on the short side. However, uh, you know, if I had to just pick between the two of these, I would go with the Hasbro version right there. I do have this weird thing on the vest going on with, with the indent. Wish there was a little bit more paint on it. But aside from that, overall, it's just just a better looking figure to me. I do like the Hasbro version more. Very happy. And then here's Lady Deathstrike next to the only other two figures from this wave that I've reviewed so far. We have the hood and we have the red skull. And I may review other stuff in between until I review the next figure from the set. I may skip ahead because I do have the Ursa Major set to review. So I don't know if I'm going to skip around like that. I can't figure it out. We'll see. But for sure, I will review all the figures from both waves. And then here's Lady Deathstrike next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Whoa, this is just like weird science. Japanese robot babes for the win. Huh. Uh, do you have to do everything I say or do I have to- ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these supporters via the Tron and membership. I have so much fun hanging out with you guys over on the exclusive streams. It's really a lot of fun. If you're interested in the bonus content, check it out. Link below. This figure is a lot of fun. My biggest gripe with the figure itself is that horizontal hinge on the left side. That hand is not intended for her to hold anything, so I don't know why they did that. I know that she doesn't come with any accessories. That part doesn't bother me at all whatsoever. There isn't any kind of accessory that I kind of wish she had that she doesn't come with. I guess maybe if they did different kinds of big claw interchangeable hands, that would have been kind of neat, but not fully necessary. Just would have just rather have had that vertical hinge on the left side. So aside from that, minor nitpicks on the figure. I really, really like it a lot. And at the price point of around 23 to 25 bucks i'm gonna give this lady death strike figure a sun rating of i love it and i'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comments section below if you want to see the latest in marvel news you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and if you want to stay in touch with me via social media you can find me over on instagram twitter twitch and tiktok and i will catch you guys later peace <laughs>